Hello and welcome back for another bloody good vaping. <laughs> Yep, it's been another fine week over here at a bloody good vaping. Lots has been going on. And before I start or anything, just a, a little funny um, observation. If you're watching this video, turn on the captions. Yeah, turn on the captions on this video. Um, it was pointed out on my Facebook group by a guy called Adam that he actually watched my last waffle and he put on the captions just to have a little nosy and uh, they couldn't probably get it any further from what I said. It's uh, quite hysterical. All sorts of uh, weird translations going on. Maybe it's because I talk so fucking fast and maybe because I talk so much that they can't keep up. So put on the captions if you fancy a bloody good giggle. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's been a busy week this week for me. I've had lots going on. It was my son's first birthday, uh, my boy number five. Yes, I have five children. Um, it's because I fuck as much as I talk, which is a lot. So uh, yeah, he had his first birthday. Um, it was really nice. He's walking about now doing that sort of drunk mummy walk that kids do when they first start walking. He's got no fucking teeth yet, but he can walk across the room and, and things like that. So that's really cool. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy loves you. Um, stay shave. Um, and what else has been happening? Um, outside of vaping for me, my movie, uh, Book of the Dead, the Esca Trilogy, that zombie film that I made um, about 18 months ago, got its US release um, on DVD and whatnot on Tuesday, I think it was, on May the 20th. And uh, yeah, that's been going uh, really well. That's quite exciting stuff. Um, if you didn't already know, I'm, my day job is I'm a filmmaker. I own a production company. And uh, a couple of years ago, my wife talked me into making a zomba, zom, zomba? a zombie film, um, being as she's a bit of a fan of the genre and quite a astute business lady as well. She'd worked out that zombie films were quite popular. So she basically forced me into making one. Um, but I did have fun doing it. Um, you know, so uh, yeah, that's been uh, really cool to sort of see. And quite a lot of vapors have been buying a copy of it as well. I've been seeing pictures of it all up on the uh, Facebook groups and things like that. So that's pretty cool. I hope they fucking like it. Mm. Um, but yeah, and what else has been going on? Some, uh, it's been some good news this week, actually. Um, some exciting news that I'm looking forward to. Um, the guys over at Eden Mods, um, that's Lee and Andy, um, have come up, uh, basically just released the, that they're going to be doing Rose V2 Stumpy Kits. Um, which is really cool. So basically it's sort of like the Rose's um, answer to those K K1 Nano Kits, except it's sort of like... It's basically nearly a whole unit that they're going to be supplying. It's basically a, a shortened down chimney, um, shortened down um, metal pieces, and obviously a smaller window as well. You just keep the existing base. Um, so they're, they're coming up with that now. So you'll be able to make your rows just a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller. I do like the rows as it is, but I mean, got to get a stumpy kit as well. And seeing as I've got three roses, I'm going to have to fucking get three, you know. Um, but yeah, that's really exciting news. So if you want to know a bit more about that, go and check out the Eden Mods Facebook group. Um, they've got all the um, sort of details on there and what size it's going to be and um, basically keep up to date of when it's going to be released. So uh, yeah, pretty exciting stuff. What have I got coming up in the pipeline um, for next week? Mm, oh yes, something very exciting. I've managed to uh, get sent to me a wall on which is the 22mm uh, atomizer from Urkades. Um, big fan of the Narwhal, really nice 16mm uh, Genesis atomizer. Um, I did a review on that in Safer Vapors, um, but I've, you know, the 22mm Narwhalon has uh, come out quite recently, last couple of months, and uh, yeah, I'll be probably reviewing one of them next week, which is really cool. Also looking at getting hold of an Axis. I've, 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 I've liked the look of the Axis for a little while because there's all these new Camagong um, wood sort of VV big beasts coming out. I know the ATB are doing one, there's an ATB mod are doing one as well. They're being sold at the moment on Midlands Vaping and these are big, big, powerful fucking mods. And I know that Schmovapes uh, did the Axis and um, I kind of 
kept looking at one, kept dithering about it, and um, I've, I've spoke to Stu, and hopefully I'll be uh, getting my hands on one of them soon and to do a review, you know, vaping with fucking power. That's what it's all about, you know what I mean? So uh, hopefully I might have one of them next week. Still no red rod, still ain't landed yet. That's uh, somewhere in fucking around the world being delivered. And uh, still no Chi Yu Megan. Unfortunately, uh, some people haven't paid up just yet on uh, the Hemo group. So there's been a bit of a, um, a delay. So I'm still waiting really eagerly. I can't wait to get that fucking mod. You know what I mean? 26650 Chi Yu. Yeah, still waiting for that. Um, and what? Ah, this is quite interesting. This was sent to me today from a, a German fella called Harold Zander. And it's called the uh, Winding Help. And it's basically to uh, help you make micro coils. I know there's been a lot of these sort of little homemade devices to uh, basically help you coil your micro coils or, or your wicks or what have you. And um, yeah, Harold has come up with this pretty little uh, ingenious thing here where basically you just attach uh, one of the ends of your wire to this sort of spring here under this um, Philip, uh, under this uh, flat top head and basically wrap your micro coil down you can burn it once it's on there it attaches to there to uh, keep it nice and straight and nice and firm so I'm going to be having a look at that next week um, used it a couple of times today it's really good actually and it's a, a nice little tool to have so uh, yeah, that's called the Winding Help. I'll put down the uh, Facebook group in the description for you to go and have a look at this. Apparently though, uh, well, uh, everybody talks on, in German on that Facebook group. There are translations available on the group from Bing, um, Chandler Bing, um, but you can actually go on there. There's got some couple of tutorials on how to use it. And I think these are about 25 euros delivered as well. So uh, yeah, they're very handy. You can also take this little off and use that as well so uh, that's pretty cool I'll be taking a little look at that next week do a little video on it and show you how to use it and stuff but really nice little handy tool if you're into your micro coils and things like that which uh, a lot of people are into so um, that's great what else ah oh, yes got my uh, my wife a little gift um, about a week or two ago and that is the uh, black beauty from SVB Mods, uh, Nigel, good pal of mine, Soul Vapor Baby. Um, I had one of the first copper DNA 20s that he made. Um, basically, he makes them out of like a guitar pedal, um, powder coats them with uh, from Martin, uh, another friend of mine. And um, yeah, I've, I've had a copper DNA 20, I've had an old silver DNA 30. And then uh, Nigel said to my wife, we was out drinking, and uh, Nigel sort of clocked my wife having a few drinks we went over there and went oh I'll be making a mod you'll be interested in so I didn't hear the fucking end of that did I and all he had to say to her was it's got sparkly bits on it and that was it I want one I want one I want one so uh, I got her the black sparkle which is it is black and it's, it sparkles so it's aptly named it sparkles and it, there's my wife with a DNA fucking 30 you know what I mean even Billy King said he liked it Okay, Billy, into your sparkly stuff, yeah, mate. Um, but yeah, it's quite nice. I've been using this uh, a little bit today. Hmm. So what else is going on? Oh, yes, I've uh, just put my name down for the Challenger Mark II. Um, basically, it's a uh, mechanical mod um, by Micro Engineering. Um, and uh, hopefully I should be getting one of them soon. Um, should be getting my invoice. Um, and if, if you are interested in the Challenger uh, Mark II, um, even though they're on lists on like Vape Pit and things like that, there's also on his Facebook page a list for Facebook users as well. So uh, it's not completely unattainable, or you know, you don't have to be a member of sort of like the Vape Pit and things like that to be able to get your hands on one. They actually have a doodle, uh, a doodle, a Google Doc on uh, Facebook, so you can actually sign up. And the, the Challenger's got quite a few options as well. Um, you can have uh, all stainless steel, which is stainless steel top cap, bottom cap, um, plunger button and tube. Or you can have uh, aluminium bronze, or you can mix and match. Also does chamfered top caps as well. I think the 18350 and 18500, different versions as well. It's only one mod, it's not modular, or you can only get sort of one tube with it. Um, and they're 90 quid or and uh, 30 pound extra for chamfered top caps. He does have 20 mil and 16 mil as well. So uh, yeah, that's the challenge. I wish look, it looks a really cool mod actually. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Um, I heard some good things about it from some of my pals as well. So uh, that's quite nice. That's quite nice. Yeah, so um, what else? 
Ah, something that's been going on on my Facebook group, which uh, is really cool. Uh, I mean, I've seen this before. I've seen it on UKV, and it's something called Pay It Forward. And basically, what they've been doing now, the cool guys, and these are just these are just vapors. They're not anybody, you know what I mean? They're, they're just vapors who come together on my Facebook group. And what they've been doing is sort of running a little competition where um, they've been putting up sort of their mods or, or atties or things they're not particularly using anymore. And they've basically turned around and said, you know, why would you tell me why you would want to use this mod? Um, or why you'd want this juice and then if you give them a good reason and that they pick somebody send them the mod or the juice and uh, and then you've got to do the same so you're basically paying it forward you know a guy called Chris Dugdale started it first he gave away I think 50 mil of lime sparkle um, and then Tim Peacock from Fortune Mods he sort of was one of the winners of the lime sparkle and then he gave away an RSST and so forth and so forth so that's going on on the Facebook group which I think is really cool because if you have just started out vaping and you're not too sure of what you like or and things like that then um, you can sort of you know get involved win yourself something pay on something that you're not using anymore and it can escalate that way um, and I think that's a, a really nice thing to do so uh, pay it forward always reminds me of that film with that little kid from Sixth Sense um, you know that little weird kid I see dead people all the time he did a he did a film called Pay It Forward and it was a similar sort of thing. <laughs> what was that kid's fucking name as well? He looked like one of them little troll things. I see dead people. Now the last week's waffle, um, I, I vaped something called bacon ice, um, which, in all honesty, is probably not the nicest juice anybody will ever try. It's absolutely horrendous. Um, and then at the weekend came and I had a few friends round and. And one of my friends, um, Smokey Joe, who's actually starting to do his own line of juice called Jungle Fun, I believe it is, um, Jungle Fun Juice. Um, he, he was trying to get me to test out some of his new juice that he's done. And um, he, we cleaned out the Zenith um, that I vaped that bacon ice in a few times and I, I couldn't get the fucking the, the smell of bacon ice out of that dripper for love or money um, but after about 20 washes I think I finally got it out now it was, but it's probably one of the worst juices I've ever tried but saying that I do have here now to try pumpkin pie from Taste of America now I hate the smell of pumpkin Halloween comes and I've got a gut of fucking pumpkin and it makes me sick to my stomach you know with all them little seeds in it and that stringy shit I mean it's fucking horrible and I don't like the smell anyway pumpkins always you know oh they always do it to me but um, I'm gonna try this pumpkin pie okay and it's a, a PG mix and it's 18 milligram um, the bacon ice was 24 milligram as well last week so no wonder I coughed my fucking lungs up but yeah, I've got a fresh wick in my Zenith uh, V2 here now, which has no longer got the uh, taste of bacon ice. So I'm probably now going to constantly have the taste of bacon, uh, pumpkin pie bacon. It's all my fucking brain, bacon, bacon, bacon. Um, pumpkin pie in it now, and I'm going to give this a bloody good vaping. And uh, we'll see if it's as bad as bacon ice, because hopefully at the end of the year, I'm going to do a best of the worst and uh, tell you what the worst tasting juice is that I've, I've ever experienced and uh, you know I think it's going to be hard to top bacon ice but pumpkin pie let's have a look pumpkin pie oh poppy poppy pumpkin pie that's all the seeds from the pumpkin ready let's have a fucking vape of pumpkin pie That's not nice either. It's, I mean, it's not bacon eyes horrible. Oh, it's got a... Once you ex with any juice as well, any bad juice, you exhale through your nose, it's fucking 20 times worse. It's horrible. That does, that taste, that does taste like pumpkin. I'll give it that. Uh, bacon ice didn't taste like bacon. This does taste like fucking pumpkin. Yeah, that's not nice either. Pumpkin pie. <coughs> Got a little bit gaggy there. Uh, yeah, so <coughs> pumpkin pie from Taste of America. Also fucking horrible.
<coughs> one more, one more, one more. Really bloody good vape it. No, no, job done. <coughs> yeah, so um, I think I've got some pizza coming. Um, not to eat. It's not like somebody's going to knock on the door and my pizza's ready. No, I've got some pizza e juice coming. Um, and some other bits as well that people are going to send me now, claiming to be the worst juice they've uh, ever experienced. Um, and so uh, I will vape them in my waffles every week. And uh, maybe a waffle vape. If you've actually got a waffle vape, that would be very apt. So, uh, yeah, let me know about that. I'm also, today, going to do a giveaway as well. Um, the, the, uh, the YouTube has been up for a couple of weeks. I'm over 3,100 subscribers. So to say thank you, I'm going to be giving away today this atomizer. Yeah, that's the Mirror by Kato, um, which is... It's an odd atomizer, you know, I wasn't completely 100% um, convinced on it. You've got the option of wicking it from the bottom or the top um, using microcoils, cotton, silica, or you can use mesh as well. You can check out Todd's review of it or uh, Safer Vapor's review of it. Um, but, you know, it's still a um, it's a nice little bit of kit. Um, you can get these from Schmo Vapes for £115, so they're not cheap. Uh, comes in this, like, handlebar. That's very strange. Um, but I will be giving this away. Um, and all you've got to do... Now, I'm going to be giving this away on my Facebook group. So, uh, if you want to, join the Facebook group. And then when I post this video, I want you to comment underneath it. Comment whatever you like. You don't have to be anything. Just I'm going to random org every single... Only once as well. Um, so, I, I will be um, striking off double comments. But I will put every single name into, or every single one into a uh, random generator, and I'll be choosing the winner and uh, exp and telling you next week on next week's waffle who won it. So that's the Mirror by Kato, um, and you can do what you like with this. You can vape it to your heart's content. You can uh, pass it or pay it forward if you like, or you can trade it for something else if you're not too um, savvy with it. But it's a really, really sort of a high-end uh, atomizer, 115 quid. Um, so, you know, it might be for you, you might fucking find it and think it's the best fucking vape ever. Or if it's not for you, you might be able to trade it for something that you do like. It's whatever you want to do with the mirror. Um, I do think I should give this away to somebody because I'm not using it and, um, you know, it's uh, only fair. Keep it in the spirit of this pay it forward sort of thing. So, yeah, so on the Facebook group, um, join it if you're not already a member of the Facebook group and then comment underneath the video, anything you like, you can say whatever you like and uh, I will choose for next week's waffle um, who the winner is and announce it uh, there and then. But, yeah, that's the uh, Mirror by Kato going to one lucky winner. So, you know... That's it. That's pretty much it for my waffle um, this week. You know, some bits going on. There's some new reviews uh, on the channel if you haven't caught up with them. So have a little look. Have a little look back. And uh, once again, thanks very much for watching and, and thanks for being here. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave you shamelessly with the trailer from my new movie um, that's just been released in America, The Book of the Dead, the Esca Trilogy. Um, Esca meaning three. Um, Esca meaning the end of things, sorry, and trilogy meaning three. Um, and Book of the Dead means Book of the Dead, pretty much. But it's a zombie movie and it's just been released. So if you haven't, go out and buy yourself one so I can buy more mods. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching this waffle, and I will see you on the next one. Stay safe. Looks like some kind of journal. You think it's still here? Who? Whoever wrote it? Are you a writer? Documentarian. The 
stories in your book. They're unbelievable. You spend your days picking up the remains of the dead by the road. Is it really that unbelievable? But the monster you speak of, the demon, that's why all this happened. And this is supposed to be real. Why are you here? Like everyone else. Hiding. Whiskey Zulu 6-3. Nobody left out there. We've got to get out of here and find somewhere safe. Where are we going, Daddy? Lily, please! Where's Amy? Where's your... Mom? Lily, run! <laughs> Can you please take the gun away from my neck? Just go! I don't understand. The transmission came from here. Did you find anything? We almost spoke to the guy an hour ago. It don't make sense. And where is everybody else? Are they hiding in here? No. Everyone's dead. <laughs> <laughs>